Have you ever spotted moments in movies or shows where actors seem more real than scripted? These are the scenes that make you feel like you're seeing something genuine, not just acting. Let's take a look into some of the raw moments of storytelling. Goebbels poisoning her children. Downfall. Downfall is a gripping historical drama depicting Hitler's defeat and downfall from power. It's famous for a scene where Hitler learns of his failing military strategies, spawning numerous memes highlighting this downfall. While the film offers moments of schadenfreude as we witness the Nazis' demise, it also delivers chilling instances that evoke genuine horror. Through its portrayal of history, Downfall invites us to contemplate the complexities of human nature and the consequences of unchecked power. In a poignant moment, Magda Goebbels, wife of Nazi propagandist Joseph Goebbels, poisons her six children in the bunker as the Red Army closes in. Actress Karina Harfouche, portraying Magda, was so deeply affected by the scene's emotional weight that she frequently had to pause filming, overwhelmed by the tragic concept of a mother committing such an unthinkable act. Shelley Duvall in The Shining The Shining, directed by the eccentric and talented Stanley Kubrick, is considered one of the most influential horror thrillers of all time. Starring Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson as a couple looking for an empty hotel, the film immerses viewers in a world of madness, terror, and psychological unraveling. Kubrick Kubrick's meticulous attention to detail and use of symbolism makes it a masterclass in filmmaking. However, this meticulousness came at a cost to Shelley Duvall's well-being. Kubrick's relentless demands for multiple takes and his verbal abuse towards Duvall were intentional, as he aimed to bring out the character's insecurity as a visceral way. Real Teeth in the Blair Witch Project The Blair Witch Project is celebrated for its innovative approach to filmmaking. Shot in cinema verite style, the film features realistic, jerky camera movements and a backstory of recovered footage adding to its authenticity. What sets it apart is its improvisation. The actors receive cryptic clues for the next scene hidden in film's canisters, directing their path using GPS. One of the film's most chilling scenes where the characters discover teeth was a genuine shock to the actors, as the teeth used were real collected from a dentist. To increase the sense of fear and paranoia, the directors employed military training tactics, harassing and chasing the actors and depriving them of food. This intense approach contributed to the film's raw and unnerving atmosphere, immersing viewers in the characters' harrowing experiences. The real apparatus used in The Exorcist In The Exorcist, the challenges for the actors went beyond the supernatural. During a scene where Ellen Burstyn's character is yanked across the room by the demon possessing her daughter, the filmmakers wanted to capture a genuine look of shock and surprise. However, the apparatus used to yank Burstyn was made much more violent than she had anticipated. Despite her concerns about potential injury, director William Friedkin insisted on making the scene look as real as possible. Unfortunately, Burstyn's fears were realized and she was injured during the brutal gank. This intense dedication to realism characterized the filming of The Exorcist, creating a visceral and unforgettable experience for both characters and audiences alike. Real Tears in Skippy Skippy, released in 1931, is a film that blends dark comedy with drama. The story revolves around a child whose dog is kidnapped and ultimately killed. Starring Jackie Cooper, a renowned child actor of the time, the film required him to portray deep emotional scenes, including the loss of his beloved pet. To evoke genuine tears from Cooper, director Norman Torog resorted to controversial method. Torog informed Cooper that his real dog would be killed, intending to elicit a raw emotional response. While the tactic may have been seen as a method to achieve authentic acting, it left a lasting impact on Cooper, who harbored resentment toward his uncle, Edward Norton and Brad Pitt in the Fight Club. Fight Club, known for its gritty portrayal of modern masculinity, features a complex relationship
relationship between Edward Norton and Brad Pitt's characters who are ultimately revealed to be the same person. Brad Pitt's character Tyler Durden promotes a breaking free from mundane and a materialistic existence through unconventional means including physical confrontation. During a scene where Edward Norton's character strikes Brad Pitt in the ear, Pitt's genuine surprise and his improvised line, why the ear, adds an extra layer of authenticity to the moment, showcasing the unpredictability and intensity of the character's relationship. Diane Kruger's character gets choked in inglorious bastards. There's a scene where Diane Kruger's character is choked to death by Christoph Waltz's despicable Nazi character. To make the scene as realistic as possible, Tarantino decided that Kruger should actually be choked. Kruger, showing serious commitment to the craft, agreed to let Tarantino himself choke her for the scene. This led to a genuinely intense moment, with Kruger's red face, bulging blood vessels, and tears adding to the realism. However, there was some controversy over whether Kruger truly consented to this, prompting her to clarify on Instagram that her experience working with Tarantino was positive and that he treated her with respect throughout the process. Real Birds in Alfred Hitchcock's The Bird Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds is a classic horror film that turns a seemingly harmless creature into a terrifying menace. Despite its unusual premise, Hitchcock's direction makes the birds incredibly suspenseful and scary. Tippi Hedren's character goes through a gauntlet of attacks, pecks, and scrapes from the birds, creating a sense of real danger. To make the scene even more intense, Hitchcock played a trick on Hedren. She was told she would only be attacked by fake animatronic birds. However, Hitchcock used real frantic birds in some scenes, surprising and terrifying Hedron. This added an extra layer of fear in her performance, showing Hitchcock's commitment to creating thrilling and realistic films. Susan Backlany's Crime of Horror in The Jaws Jaws left a lasting impression, instilling a fear of sharks in many viewers. There's a chilling rumor surrounding the film's first victim, Susan Backlany, suggesting she screamed in genuine horror because a device broke her ribs as it yanked her underwater. While there is no concrete evidence to support this, director Steven Spielberg did surprise her during the shark attacks, resulting in her authentic reaction. Interestingly, the iconic line, we're gonna need a bigger boat, was improvised by Roy Scheider, adding to the film's memorable moments. Despite the rumors, no one was harmed during the making of Jaws, however, both re Real and fake sharks faced unfortunate fates. So, which of these scenes did you not know was real? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.